I predict we'll see something very interesting out of the Middle East in this video. We have Iran, Arabia, and Egypt all forming a faction called the Axis, and I think they'll be going after the Ottomans. I mean, we're going to find out right here. It's 1938. We're pretty much progressing about a year uh, every single video, and uh, things only continue to get crazier and crazier. And I'm wondering if maybe the Sultan... Sultan? Nate of Oman, maybe they'll join the Axis as well. Uh, it's possible. It is possible. Now we have a little bit of the German faction out here in uh, Ethiopian and uh, and Arabian territory, but uh, we'll see. I, I know something's gonna something is gonna have to happen. That's that's my prediction. They see the Ottomans hate Arabia and Egypt. I know they want their their former territory back. I mean, it's been it wasn't even that long ago. They they still split apart, which is kind of interesting. Uh, Triple A. Triple A is here. Interesting. I haven't talked about this. There's still so many things that I'm still noticing in this mod. That's how you really know it's it's so great. Okay, so we could see the end of the uh, the Italian Confederation right here. Obviously, if Rome falls, uh, Italy is done. And uh, we'll see a very, very powerful Austrian Empire. There it is. Oh my goodness. Okay, well actually, whoa. Uh, this was a war against Kurdistan. Oh, that's a civil war. Kurdistan just broke out. Just broke out. So the Kurds declared a civil war, I'm guessing somehow. They are autocrats. Now will they join the Axis real quick and will they pull in everybody else? That would be a smart move. This is a reason to go to war with the Ottomans is to save the Kurds. Yep, there it is. Bam. Now, wait a second. It, it might not be because they joined the Axis per se. They might join it now, but Egypt just declared the war. I don't think the Ottomans are technically at war with Iran. Oh, yes, they are. Yep, yep, Kurdistan joined. Kurdistan joined the Axis. That is uh, not necessarily interesting. I guess they will. The Ottoman Empire has declared war on Cyprus. This is exactly what we had we had predicted in the beginning. That's awesome. Um, hold on. So the Ottomans are also at war with somebody else, aren't they? No. Oh, so the Ottomans are friendly with Oman. They're, or they're friendly. They haven't called them into a war. That would really help them out. And, and Tripoli. Wow, okay. So there's a ton of things happening. Here's the Middle East. I also should mention we have uh, the, Mongol, the Mongol, Mongol Empire. There you go. I want to call them the Mongolian Empire. But uh, yes, they, I think, will win their war against Tibet here. And of course, let's not forget about North America, which is in a stagnant civil war against the Deep South and the Rust Belt. And uh, luckily for them, the Pacific and New England haven't decided to do anything about it. Um, yeah, so they're becoming slowly more and more authoritarian. Yeah, the, the United States is, I mean, the I, well, I guess the former United States, it's all kind of a, a mess now. Uh, social conservatives, I think these guys should have stayed the same. Yeah, so we've got, holy crap, Deep South, really, really autocratic. Anyways, okay, I need to stop looking at that stuff. I hope people like it as much as I do, but I just, I find it interesting. <laughs> Quite a very interesting. Okay, so the Italian Confederation's pushing back. Not sure if they're receiving troops from somebody. Are they? Uh, I would not be surprised. Improving relations. Uh, Non-aggression pact. And an offensive war. No, I don't think so. Interesting. Well, anyways, they are, they're kind of pushing back a little bit here. We'll see. I think the Austrians might also be possibly going to be in a war with Ro uh, Romania soon. And then, yeah, I haven't talked about the Soviet, the Soviet Russia, the Soviets yet, but uh, the Soviets are, I think, I think it's safe to say they're doing better. I don't, I don't know if they're going to actually take over Russia completely, though. I don't know if, so what, what the Soviets need to hope for is that when the Mongolians take over Tibet, they kind of set their sights on, on Siberia. It's likely, or maybe Japan could do the same thing. Japan could definitely do the same thing, so that would also help the uh, the Soviets by quite a bit. Oh, and it looks like we might have a winner out of Iberia. The uh, the syndicates, right? Or are they radically socialist? They are they're socialist, yeah, radical socialists. Interesting. And they're friendly with uh, the French Commune, of course. Uh, we also have remember. Let's not forget about this huge coalition that formed up against Ireland. Oh, they landed. Oh my God, uh, who is this? Canada landed. Oh, look at this. Look at all these people. So there's a huge... We have we have Britain here. We have Canada here. We have France here. Remember, the Commonwealth, the new Commonwealth, uh, are not a part of Britain. They don't like Britain. And uh, Britain is trying to save 
save their booties because if Ireland falls to the Commonwealth, that's going to be a lot easier for some of the some of the Commonwealth states to maybe go after the Queen at some point. It, it would be, and maybe they'll want to take their revenge. Who knows what, what could happen, but this is going to be close. Ireland, actually, they've got some troops here, man. They've got some troops. They're trying to, they're fighting for their lives at the moment. Who will take the capital, though? It seems like Britain might be, they, I feel, I feel like they've got a lot more troops here if they keep pushing forward. The United Communes of Brazil declared war on, uh, okay, so a civil war just broke out in South America. So I think we have a war in every single continent. Yeah, because Asia, Europe, um, I guess not Australia. But let's just, you know, Australia. <laughs> well, Australia's at war with Ireland, aren't they? Did they get called in? Yeah, they did. Yeah, they did. Boom, there they are. Technically. Yeah, there they are. Interesting. Yeah, so a war on every single continent here. It's 1938. And boom, okay, so we have, uh, we have the radical socialists that have r risen up outside of... Uh, Iberia. Now, what does this mean for the world? This is huge because remember, we've got a uh, France, a uh, French, and uh, and British government that is also kind of uh, socialist leaning, I guess we could say, or sometimes they're straight up socialist. So it's very likely. Oh, and they joined in. I didn't realize this. I wish they gave me a notification, man. And I didn't also realize that uh, Southern Italy had joined the International, the Third International, something like that. So it's likely that we'll also see Iberia join that. I think it's. Very, yeah, that will not be surprising at all. They will. I can almost guarantee you, I think. So, uh, so there, there, we're already seeing kind of the pieces start to line up what World War II will look like in this world. Uh, obviously, I think Austria is going to get the job done. Yep, Austria is definitely going to get the job done here. We still don't have a an ending to Bulgaria, the Bulgarian-Serbian-Greek War. How are the Ottomans doing? Ottomans are not doing well at all, although they, they did push out Arabia. All right, there it is. Yep, okay, so Arabia is going to capitulate. Oh, did you white peace? I didn't actually read what it said. No, you're a puppet, aren't you? Yep, is a puppet. Oh, man. All right. So that's maybe a little bit better for Austria to kind of handle all this stuff. So you've turned them, obviously, into an authoritarian democracy, as you would. <laughs> Uh, and when you take over the, I don't know why I said it like that, as you would, just normally when you take over a state, that's what you do. Um, oh, look at this, Ireland has pushed back. Ireland has pushed back at least the British, which means the only people here are, uh, the Kingdom of France in Africa. I kind of want to put, like, parentheses in Africa. Um, yeah, Ireland is a lot stronger than I, than I give them credit for. Because they've, they've stopped two different naval invasions. I don't know if they're going to last, though. It's, it's still going to be pretty close. This is really interesting. Uh-oh. South African Con uh, Federation. South African F Federation declared war. So we have a, a civil war, basically, out of South Africa. We've seen this before. Um, yeah, so we have liberals kind of rising up here. Uh, called the South Africa Federation versus the Union of Africa. Interesting. South Africa, I mean. Hmm, Okay. Well, I mean, because I think you're technically an authoritarian democracy, which would be a big deal if uh, if the Union of South Africa lose this one. That's a that's that's pretty big. Madagascar also is controlled by Germany. Didn't realize that until now. All right. So what does so I think it's safe to say what we will see. You know what? Scandinavia hasn't been doing much. What are you guys? For the most part, besides Finland, I mean Norway, uh, Sweden. Yeah, they're both. Kind of all democracies, social, social democracy, doc, democracies, uh, liberals, market liberals, I should say. So yeah, I don't think they'll play a huge role in this. I don't know. We'll see. How are the Soviets doing? Soviets still making progress. They're making progress, but this is this is what they absolutely need. Oh, they're making a lot of progress now. Is Russia falling apart? Oh, they are. Look at this. Russia's starting to fall apart if they keep pushing. Now, I don't know. The AI does does sometimes stop pushing. And again, it could be for reasons that I'm not considering. Like they could, you know, run out of equipment or something. Let's look at their, their logistics. Yep, I mean, they're pretty far in the hole, logistically. At least when infantry equipment. I mean, that's not terrible, but it's uh, it's not terrible if you if you watch my modern-day AI-only battle. Or my modern-day, uh, as, as uh, Donald Trump, I was at like 100,000... Infantry equipment in the hole. Okay, this is it. I think Soviet. I think Soviet Russia takes over now. And here's the thing: uh, we are seeing. You know, the Soviets 
I don't know. You know, here's the thing. I don't see very often um, AIs leave their faction or or dismember their faction. But uh, if they do, I wouldn't be surprised if the Soviets form uh, join the uh, the Third International. I guess I could just call it the Third International, huh? Uh, yep, Mongolia took it over, baby. Mongolia took it over, and then in terms of South America, we still have the same Brazil, right? Yeah, there's, they're just populist. Why hasn't La Plata done anything? La Plata will do things. I'm telling you, La Plata will do things. All right, look at that Mongolian Empire. Man, the, uh, the yep, Genghis Khan is coming back, baby. The Geng Genghis Khan is coming back. The Entente will also play a really interesting war uh, in World War II. Yeah, they'll play a very interesting role, I should say. Who is this? The Oh, China First Faction. That's interesting. Nothing really is formed out of that. All right, so now what do they do? Well, there we already have an answer to that question. They did not wait long. I kind of want to sit here for a few seconds. Is a fa is a coalition going to finally form? Nope, I don't think so. Serbia has taken two states. Greece took two states, or three states. Serbia took seven states. I'm sorry, I can't read, man. <laughs> Serbia, everybody knows that though. So bam, Bulgaria is gone, and uh, or are they? Wait a second. Oh, you became a you became a puppet, didn't you? Uh, you, or you, yeah, oh, you just changed their, their government. Okay. So it will be authoritarian democracies versus, uh, versus a lot of, like, syndicates and, and socialist countries, I think. Yep, that's, that's, that's what we're destined for. That is what we're destined for. 84 world tension, that's crazy. And I think it's gonna be the Entente. I guess that's how I should refer to them. Not necessarily the new Commonwealth or something, but the Entente that, that will, uh, take over Ireland. I don't know what the British are doing. Maybe they're focused on helping the Soviets right now. I mean, are the Soviets receiving troops? Uh, I thought it would. I thought it would tell me, but it doesn't always. Yeah, no, it doesn't. It's fighting the defensive war against yeah the Soviets and Russia, Russia and and uh, and the Serbians. I should say, we no longer get. Okay, that's that's fine. Whoops. Okay, so they are close. I think the Soviets will defeat Russia. I think that is uh, that is pretty pretty likely. Who's just populist right now? I wonder how Finland responds though. How would Finland respond? I, I still want to see Ukraine try something. Which Ukraine will be involved in some interesting things, sure enough, but not yet. All right, so let's check back on the Ottomans. So the Ottomans still haven't got rid of the Kurds just yet. They did take out Arabia, which was a pretty big deal. They're fighting a really big war against Iran. Here's here's the thing. Egypt has got to do more, man. Egypt has got to do way, way more. They can't right now because there is just literally one path for them to, to move across. Uh, oh, oh, they're trying to save Arabia. That's a that's a good plan. I don't know. I, I would imagine that the Ottomans probably have a little bit more in terms of a navy, but I don't know if it's in the Red Sea or not. Could be in the Persian Gulf or something. Okay, so the Union of South Africa has won. Yeah, Union of South Africa took, took three states, so that means that South Africa will remain authoritarian democracy. Uh, it was like social conservatives or market liberals, something that, that formed out of that civil war. Oh, that's right. Tripoli's also attacking. I forgot about that, helping the Ottomans out. Just like Oman is, which probably helped them. So so the Ottomans might stay alive here, which doesn't al doesn't always happen. Okay, this is it right here. I think this is finally the it of this is finally the finish, the end of Ireland. Hey, you got to give them a lot of credit. They were attacked by all, from all different sides. All you need to do is walk into this capital. I, I think once you walk into this capital, I think it's over. But I'm not entirely sure because they only have that one VP. It's just Ireland one VP. But I mean, oh, there you go. These guys. Okay, they're still they're still going. They're still going. Give them, give them credit, Drew. Give them a little bit of credit. That is pretty good. I'm really surprised about that. All right. So there's still this war against Bosnia. I think the Balkans have finally started to settle down a little bit, I want to say. They've kind of settled down. 85 world tension. That's crazy. So at this point, like any war, almost like any war could break out. Yeah, the Soviet the Soviets did have to kind of slow down. Even though I think it's safe to say, still they'll eventually win. Uh, they just have the numbers, I think. Look, I mean, they could just keep pushing through here, but it is uh, well, it's April. We'll see if they try something during 
during the uh, the winter. Okay, so projected limits exceed something like that. I don't know. There's all sorts of different like uh, sort of ideas and stuff like that. National focus trees. Oh, interesting. So Turkestan. So, wait a second. Are you a puppet, or did you just join in? Yeah, I guess you just joined in or something. You're a part of the faction now, aren't you? No, you're not. But you're allied. Or something. Yeah, you're gonna be allied, probably. Alright, well, this is, uh, this is pretty fun. We've got all of these factions. I think we'll finally, I, because again, I don't think we are in a, uh, we're in a world war. Oh, you guys are also a part of this. Third Ant Ant International. Uh, I think we'll see World War II officially begin in the next video. Um, and this is the chaos of the world that we are witnessing. It's, uh... <laughs> completely insane right now I'm having so much fun like kind of seeing what, what plays out because it's just it's so different from the tests that I've done and uh, that's really exciting so let me know in this world how do you think World War II breaks out will it be because of the Entente versus the Third International I, I think obviously Germany is gonna have some sort of big role in it um, and could it be kind of almost a pre World War II I, I, I think you know I'm saying that World War II is gonna break out in the next video but I could see it just being kind of a few factions that, that go against a, a, a little bit more, smaller, less factions, I guess is what I'm trying to say. Uh, and then we see, see an even bigger war by the 19, you know, 45, maybe 1950s, uh, because there'll be a lot less kind of allied nations in this world, if that makes any sense. But anyways, guys, thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.